Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with iOpReviews.com and today I'm going to be making a video showing you how to use the preset manager for Turtle Beach headset on a Mac and how to change your programmable Turtle Beaches. Now this works with any programmable Turtle Beaches that plug in your computer via USB um, and are programmable, not just the regular Turtle Beaches. Um, the headset I'm currently using is the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, Air Force Tango headset. Um, one important thing to note is it comes with a really long mini USB cable that is a charge only cable. It does say charge only on it. Um, you cannot use that for this. You have to use a regular USB cable because the other one does not transfer data. Um, so you will need to do that. Um, right here we have some you can change your voice prompts, your settings, your firmware. Um, so we're going to actually check your firmware and there's no new uh, firmware available. So right here it just read the data um, from the headset and right here you see, you see your headset mode and your battery voltage and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, right now um, we have the different settings. And you see if I actually change it, I'll put it up to the mic and you hear the voice prompt. It does change it on the headset. Um, and then you can have... I think these are different. Um, those are the same. So, yeah. Um, but we're going to actually go into the Turtle Beach website. And we're going to go to the audio preset community. And... We are going to go to voice prompts, and then let's see, we're going to um, download one of these. I'm going to download this one right here. And then we're going to update it. So it's going to upload it to the headset. And then, so it did that. Now if we change it, now you can see that the voice is different. So we can also, um, I guess you can, you can click that to restore the defaults, but we're going to go back and actually find a permanent one that I'm going to keep. Um, so you just want to go right here to voice prompts and you can there are game presets too that you can download um, there aren't that many of these um, But we're just going to download this one try that one. They don't take long to download at all as you can see um, They go right to the downloads folder on your Mac Gonna upload this one And it's going to do upload. And now you can hear it again. I hope you can hear this. Actually, that's the same thing, but I don't know why. It, actually, I don't know where the other one went. I don't think it downloaded it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's how that works. So you can actually change what these mean. Um, like your chat, you can make one the you can make one the robot. Cat main. Cat one. Or you can do you know the amplifier or whatever, and then you can choose what these are. And I have mine on treble boost. Um, I think my mouse just died right in the middle of the video, of course. Um, there it goes. Oh, I need to change the batteries real quick, but. So you can change what that means and just die again, piece of crap. Um, this is a fail. But yeah, anyway, that's how that works. That's how you change your presets. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day. This is a huge fail. 
Oh my gosh. If I ever get in this video. Come on.